Morning, beautiful people. This is Bread from the Beach, and it's just great to be able to come and share with you on this Monday following this weekend of celebration as we celebrated our independence in this great nation. Uh, throughout this land, uh, on TV and radio and in person, people were experiencing the joy and the excitement uh, about being a part uh, of this great nation. And you know, sometimes uh, we get a little confused. I know it's great to be an American. I'm committed to that. This is a country that I was born and raised in. I love it dearly. Uh, at the same time, uh, those of you who heard me share or have been with me on my journey, you know that I value the kingdom of God and our commitment to that kingdom above everything else in this realm. So I don't think it's incompatible to celebrate being a part of a great nation with being committed to the kingdom. I just think we have to get that in the right order, that our first allegiance is to the king. Our first allegiance is to the kingdom. And out of that, as we grow in response to who we've been called to be as children of God, then we can be a part of making this nation great. And the greatness doesn't come from building great skyscrapers or great big buildings or whatever. The greatness comes from being able to live with and amongst people in a way that challenges them to live according to the destiny and purpose that their creator has for them. And the way you and I are able to do that is to embrace our relationship with Jesus and then press in and be passionately devoted to him. And then as we step out on our daily walks and we encounter people in this realm, then at the same time, we're able to impart to them the reality of the kingdom of God. As we look at this nation of ours right now and the kind of uh, turmoil really that we are experiencing in, in this nation, uh, we have a part to play in enabling this place that we call great to be able to take on the character of Christ as it goes forward. You and I have the opportunity to be in this world and not of it. And at the same time, we can be a part of transforming it. And I think as we enter into this new year as celebrate about uh, what it's like now to follow up on what was celebrated this weekend, it seems to me that we have to embrace the challenge to really walk as our God's people, uh, as our fathers, sons, and daughters, so that we can be a part of making the place we dwell in reflective of the kingdom of God. So my heart for all of us in the season is that we would take a good look at our relationship with Jesus and that we would realize that we're here in time on time and that the Father has a plan and a purpose for each of our lives. So the only way to get a handle on that is to press into him so that he can inform us, he can shape us, he can mold us, he can give us a vision for how this world is to be shaped by his presence. And then we can go out uh, as those instruments that he has sent and that we can go out empowered by the Holy Spirit to introduce to this world what the kingdom of God really looks like. And I don't think you can ever get away from the challenge that Jesus gives us, that the world will know that we're his disciples by our love for one another. And that truthfully, love is the only thing that can heal a damaged heart. Love is the only thing that defeats anger and hatred. Love is that thing that God has given us that we can walk in and share and be able to be in this world, not of it, but be in the world being a transforming agent. That's my prayer for this nation that we live in, that we would see it become what God would have it to be as his people walk in it in obedience to him. Now, I know that this sounds maybe just a little general, a little nebulous to you, but truth of the matter is love can be very specific. And when we choose to love like we've been loved, we're choosing a very specific path. And I'm just saying that path will make a difference in this nation, especially right now, that the divisiveness can bring uh, us to a place where we realize that the only way for reconciliation is through the love of Christ Jesus. This has been Bread from the Beach. Thank you for joining us. Be blessed.